Hello friends, how are you doing today? And welcome to another episode of the Williams Learning Lab. In this episode, I'm going to teach you how to calculate molar mass. So it doesn't matter if you're working with a single element or a complex molecule, the method is going to be the same. I'm going to show you how to break it down into the easy steps that you can remember. Plus, if you need more practice, I've included a link to my molar mass worksheet and reference sheet in the description below. So first, what is molar mass? Molar mass is the mass of one mole of a substance measured in grams per mole. When you're doing chemistry, you can't mix one gram with something and another gram of something else. Do a chemical reaction and expect that to be equal amounts. Okay, um, Grams don't tell us the number of molecules, moles do. So we're going to use that molar mass in the future to be able to react a certain number of molecules with a certain number of different molecules. Well, um, in doing this, we calculate the molar mass by adding the atomic masses of all of the atoms in a compound. And so you're going to need to know how to write chemical formulas and determine how many atoms of each element is in that chemical formula. And if you need a little bit of a review on that, um, please check out my writing chemical formulas video. All right, so let's go to... Um, molar mass of a single atom okay so do this you're going to need a periodic table i recommend that you use the same periodic table as your instructor usually because periodic tables can be slightly different this is an example of my periodic table i like to use two decimal places for my students it makes it easy and i give them my periodic table right here um, just so all the calculations will be consistent and there won't be any um, any changes with significant digits and things like that. If you like this periodic table, I'm going to leave it in the description below link where you can get that. All right, so um, you're going to use a periodic table to find the atomic mass. The atomic mass of a single element is going to be the molar mass. So let's do an example of a common one. Let's try carbon. Okay. So for carbon, I'm going to go to my periodic table. All right, let's see if it's focused right here. So carbon is right here, and then we have 12.01. So a lot of places they'll call that atomic mass units. Um, I'm going to refer to this as grams per mole. Okay, I find it more useful just to always refer to this as grams per mole because when you're using those numbers, most of the time you're doing it because of stoichiometry or determining the molar mass of something. Okay, so that's simple as that. The atomic weight on the periodic table, also referred to as atomic mass, is that molar mass right here. Love it, love it. All right, so what are the steps to calculate molar mass? Well, the first thing you're gonna do is you're gonna write the chemical formula. So let's do the uh, molar mass of a very common molecule, water, H2O. All right, so we're going to write the chemical formula. After we do that, we're going to find the atomic mass of each element. Well, um, first we have hydrogen. So let's figure out what the atomic mass of that is. Okay, so here's our periodic table. Hydrogen is up here, 1.01 grams per mole. And for our oxygen, we'll look at the periodic table again and find it. And the more you use it, the more familiar you'll be with periodic table. We have 16.00 grams per mole. You don't need to memorize the periodic table. It's a tool to use. All right, for step three, multiply... By the number of atoms. All right, well, in our H2O molecule, we have two hydrogen atoms. So for hydrogen, the total mass of the um, hydrogen atoms that are being a contributor, excuse me, contributor to the molar mass of water is going to be, we're going to take the 1.01, all right, because that's how many grams per mole hydrogen is 
and we're going to multiply times the number of those atoms. 1.01 .01 times 2. All right, and put this in my handy dandy calculator over here because I don't want to make a really simple mistake. I know that's easy. 2.02, .02. that's in terms of grams per mole. I recommend using a calculator all the time because a lot of times you'll be stressed out or um, have a lot going on in chemistry and you don't want to just make a simple mistake. I know we all can do 1.01 .01 times 2. All right, and for oxygen, we only have one of these atoms. Anything times one is itself. So I guess you can do that one in your head. 16.00 grams per mole. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to add up all of these masses together. We're going to add up our 2.02 .02 and our 16.00. Right. And so that will be the molar mass of our water molecule. So we have our 2.02 .02 plus our 16.00. And that's going to give us, of course, we're going to have our 2.02 .02 plus 16. And we have 18.02 grams per mole. Uh, another tip for you is when you're using a calculator on some of your um, problems, get a graphing calculator. I know we could use our cell phone, but it's easy to get distracted. Even if there are some pretty good apps out there, um, it can be kind of clunky working with your cell phone. So I recommend getting a dedicated scientific calculator. I think it helps, it really does. All right, so let's do another example. So here we're going to calculate the molar mass of sodium chloride. Well, step one is we're going to write the chemical formula. NaCl. Okay. Do it every time. Get in the habit. And then you'll remember the method. We're going to find sodium over here. All right. This is a group one element. It is 22.99 grams per mole. All right. So, um, Find the atomic mass of each element. Sodium equals 22.99 grams per mole. All right. And now let's try our chlorine. All right, for our chlorine, we have 35.45 grams per mole. So we're going to try that. And just to be consistent, uh, for step three, we multiply by the number of atoms. All right, for the total for sodium, 22.99 grams per mole times one is going to give us 22.99 grams per mole. A little redundant here, but if this was more complex, we would need to do this. All right, we have 35.45 grams per mole times one equals 35.45 grams per mole. We could probably do this in our head or scratch it out on paper, but we're, we want to make sure that we are correct, especially in high stakes testing and things like that. We want to get used to using a calculator. So we're going to take our 22.99 plus our 35.45, and that'll give us a 58.44. So let's show that work. So for sodium chloride, we're going to have 22.99 plus 35.45 equals 58.44 grams per mole. And it's as simple as that. Guys, if you found any value here, would you please consider like, commenting, or subscribing. And until next time, have a nice day and keep on learning.